Hey everyone, it's Emmanuel here. I'm in my car now going to pick up my kids from school and right when I was coming out, I was kind of in a hurry already. I see that the garbage that I took out last night because today is garbage collection day, all those garbage was scattered everywhere. There are a lot of yogurt cups and, and papers and tinfoil, it's everywhere and it's totally annoying. The result is I have to go and obviously clean up and quickly put everything in a new garbage bag so when the garbage truck comes, then they can collect the garbage or else they won't collect it if it's in a broken bag. The more important thing is, do you have people in your life that is like a raccoon, okay? They're always trying to pick those dirt, those garbage that you're already trying to throw out in your life. Maybe there's certain sins or certain things that you've done in the past and they're still trying to remind you of it. They're trying to dig it up. I want to encourage you today just by this very annoying encounter I had that there are gonna be some people in your life that's gonna to try to do that for you. They're gonna to try to discourage you, maybe not on purpose. They don't even know they're doing that. The raccoon is just trying to make a, their own living, right? They're trying to get food, they're trying to survive. And for other Christians, sometimes they may be there and they're saying things and doing things to you and disapproving you of certain things. They don't even know it's gonna harm your destiny that, it, that God has called you for. So today I wanna to encourage you, if you wake up one morning and you find yourself frustrated, you find that you're discouraged or you find there's certain situations just like you walk out and this whole garbage is torn apart and all this dirt everywhere, well, you know what? Just get a new garbage bag, pack everything in and go again. So now I'm, I'm on my way to pick up my kids. I focused on the fact that I'm blessed that I'm able to pick up my kids uh, from school. And so we can do the same thing too. Whenever you sin, whenever you mess up, we have the blood of Jesus. The promise in the Bible says that if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who when we repent and trust in Him and ask Him to forgive us, then He will do that because of the blood of Jesus. Whatever you're going through, whatever other people are saying about you, remember that God says that He is for you, He's not against you. If you have repented, you trusted in Him, He is for you. Now, if you know your life is not right, you're not living in a way that pleases God, all you have to do is say, God, I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be and I want to live a new life. Help me, change me to live a life that is pleasing to you. Make sure don't be a raccoon to other people's lives. Don't be go gossiping about people, talking about how people have done in their past, digging up what they have not accomplished because that is not gonna help them. You wanna speak destinies. You wanna speak encouragement. You wanna speak what God has said about that person for them. You want to encourage them because in Jesus Christ, we want to build up the body of Christ to mature, to grow up in the image of Jesus Christ. We don't want to be that raccoon digging around people's garbages and annoying everybody. And unfortunately, in the body of Christ today, we have a lot of those people. And I have to repent in certain times that I've done that. I've talked about certain people in a way that I shouldn't have. God has say, I repent. Help me not to do that. And so may that be encouragement for you too, to look into your life to see, are you being such a person? Because certainly, no one likes that kind of person who dig up people's past and talk about them, discourage them, mess things around, and don't offer any value. You don't want to do that. You want to be a person who uplifts others. You want to be the person who stands there, but no one is going to stand with them. When everyone casts a stone, you want to be like Jesus and says, woman, where are all the people who are casting blame and judgment on you? And the woman says, I don't see any of them. And Jesus says, neither will I condemn you. Go and sin no more. May you and I be that person who in the times of trouble and people are down, when they're downcast, we are there to uplift them. And we will not be that raccoon that annoys people, but we will be the body of Christ that uplifts people and the believers and also uplift the name of Jesus. I bless you with that word.